Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm accompanied by my cat Amy here and um, Tekken 7 Season 3 uh, is coming out soon. The patch notes have already been released and I'm going to talk about Lily in this video. Uh, she didn't get as many changes as other characters did. Um, there's a whole list of buffs I, I thought could really help Lily in a fundamental way to make her tournament viable but uh, I feel like they only buffed her cheesy and, and gimmicky moves. Now keep in mind that we have these changes only on paper so far and sometimes they are really vague so, so we don't know how some of these changes will impact her gameplay. We know that she will get a new power crush which will be uh, fast and her current power crush forward forward 2 is really slow and she cannot use it under pressure because it's so slow and on top of that it has a forward forward mo motion built in it so it really we cannot use it as uh, a good panic tool and this new fast power crush is something she needed but it's not something that will make her necessarily a much better character than she is unless it's gonna wall bounce or something which would be crazy uh, the other move, her old back one from Tekken 5 DR um, I doubt that it's going to be a good move most likely they will just copy paste the move from Tekken 5 DR or from Sebastian in Tekken Tag 2 now Lily's version in Tekken 5 DR was a 17 frame mid counter hit launcher that was plus 3 unblocked but it has it had bad range and no tracking at all so it, it was really easy to make that move with Sebastian's version in Tekken Tag 2 was one frame faster I believe and neutral on block uh, but it was still but it still had a pretty bad hitbox um, it was super linear bad range and also really high hitbox so it's really easy to crush uh, that back one move um, with mid crushing tools. Down one plus two will most likely be her power crush and up back one will most likely be her old back one unless they buff the hitbox of this new version of her old back one or they buff the frames on it I don't see this move as being a game breaking addition to her unless it's going to be a safe normal hit launcher uh, but I don't think that's going to be the case because um, it seems to me like Namco doesn't want Lily to have really, really, really strong fundamental tools. And definitely not a normal hit launcher with her up 3 plus 4 does not count as a safe launcher, okay? You know, in most games, the developers don't want characters to be balanced in the eyes of the players and the audience. And in almost every game, there are characters that the developers want to be high tier um, in every installment, in, in almost every installment. For example, the Mishimas, um, in every Tekken game, at least one Mishima was a top tier character or a really, really high tier character. And it's the opposite case for Lily. Namco doesn't want a cheesy, bullshit, evasive character to be top tier because that would be too annoying to deal with and so many people say oh she has the best sidestep in the game giving her better moves would make her broken but then we have characters like Alisa who has one of the best sidesteps in the game as well and on top of that a really good bat dash as well and look at her she was bottom tier in Tag 2 and since then she's been continuously getting a huge amount of, bu of buffs to the point where she became a top tier character so Lily having the best sidestep in the game is not a valid excuse for, not, for her not getting more buffs and her moves just don't work well together like she has a lot of moves that seem really good at first sight uh, for, to someone who does not play Lily for example, down 4-3, a counter hit launcher which is plus 3 on block. 
or Kurosuke 4 3 plus 4, a homing move that is plus 6 on block, but they also don't give her a quick counter hit to follow it up with. She doesn't have a magic war like most characters, and her fastest oppressive counter hit launcher is 20 frames fast. 3 1 being a wall bounce is probably the best change on this list for Lily. It's a 15 frame punisher which is minus 13 on block, so you cannot really use this uh, for pressure. You use this pretty much only as a whip punisher or a block punisher for moves with pushback such as Heihachi's forward forward 2 or Noctis's aura, but uh, even in this case it doesn't have enough range to punish these moves at every range. They could have made standing 3 14 frames fast instead and this would be a bootleg 14 free launcher for Lily. Uh, but okay. 3 2 increased the lower range of the attack. Now, they mean the second hit, which is a high. This won't really affect her poking, but it could improve her combos. There's a wall combo with 3 2 into Dewglide into wall standing 3 which is good for low wall splats and these low wall splats happen very often with her forward forward 3 into do glide 1 2 ender which is her best wall carry option and so this could mean that she would get a better wall combo after low wall splats um, currently this combo works in season 2 as well 3 2 into do glide into wall standing 3 but it's super inconsistent it doesn't work on female characters, and even on male characters, it's going to whiff randomly sometimes. So I'm guessing it's going to be more consistent now. Ideally, it's going to work on female characters as well. Down back 3. Increased the lower range of the attack. Now this is not even a buff. This is just a fix to something that did not work as intended in Season 2. Down back 3 is a homing move. Uh, it's a high homing move with a really bad range and it also had a really bad hitbox in season 2 because female characters could sidestep this move. Now here's a good one. Back to 1 into a new Dewglide transition with forward. <laughs> you know there's this joke on one of the Lily discords where somebody said that in season 3 they would just give Lily a new Dewglide transition and call it a day. And unironically, this person was right. And they gave this transition to a move that is not even that good to begin with. Yes, Back to One is a 13 frame high mid string that is uh, safe and natural on hit. But the problem with this move is that the first hit has terrible, terrible range and the animation is like she goes with her hand over her head like this so there's no way this move will ever have good range at least the first hit the second hit uh has a, quite a good hitbox it has some tracking and it has better reach than the first hit but still the first hit just sucks they better give lily an unsteppable and uninterruptible wall standing 4 after this Dewglide transition. She had that after her back 1 transition uh, previously, but they even took that out. Now here's another oh so great buff for Lily. Back towards enemy 1 2. Changed the input window for the second hit from 8 frames to 10 frames. Now back to 1 2 is a jab stream. Uh, it's high high and it does not even jail on block, meaning you can just duck the second hit and launch Lily. And it's also a string that you will never see Lily players use, like ever, unless it's a misinput and they were going for a back to 1 plus 2, or for combos, or for a guaranteed uh, or for a, or as a guaranteed follow-up after her counter hit root of evil. Maybe this means that the jab string will be hit confirmable now, but it doesn't seem like a big enough window for me for hit confirm. I don't know. 
Now don't get me wrong, I appreciate all the buffs she got in Tekken 7, especially the two big buffs in Season 2, forward 2-3, being a 12 theme punisher, punisher instead of a 13 theme punisher, and quarter circle forward 3 plus 4 being finally a homing move. But can you really compare these buffs to the buffs the, the majority of the character roster gets? I think not. Not to mention the fact that every time Namco buffs her, they also feel the need to take something away from her. When they buffed forward to 3 and quarter circle forward 3 plus 4, they also took away uh, the speed on the Duglite transition of back 1. Now there are two changes I did not expect at all. They changed her quarter circle forward to 1. The first hit, they changed the frame advantage of one hit from minus 2 to 0 frames all. What a huge change. Increased the lower range of the attack. Now this is interesting. This could mean that we could use quarter circle forward to one in combos perhaps? I know this is a crazy idea but imagine a wall combo with 3-2 into do glide 2-1. That would be pretty nice. That could deal a lot of damage, potentially. And the second hit changed the frame advantage when blocked from minus 11 to minus 13 frames. As if Lily needed more unsafe stuff. Changed the opponent's behavior when the move lands as a regular hit or a counter. Now this could mean anything. This could mean that the second hit will uh, knock down a normal hit and counter hit launch or maybe it will launch both a normal hit and counter hit. I really hope that it will be at least a counter hit launcher, otherwise I cannot justify them making it suddenly minus 13 a block. Currently it knocks down only on counter hit, only knocks down, doesn't even counter hit launch. These Sometimes these lily moves and changes seem all over the place. It seems like Namco doesn't know what to do with this move. And with lily in general, uh, in season 1, this stream was safe. Both hits were safe. The first hit was safe as well. In season... In season 3, uh, in season 2, the first hit is still unsafe on block. It's around minus 11 or minus 10. So it's not something you can use very often. Um, and then, and yes, both hits are natural on hit now. But still, I don't like the fact that both hits are unsafe. I much, I very much prefer the season one version, where both hits are safe, but not natural on normal hit. And then there's the controversial core circle forward 3 plus 4 change. Changed the opponent's behavior when the second hit lands. This could mean... Now this could mean anything. Um, some people say that it's going to become a counter hit launcher now, or a normal hit launcher. They do not specify if they mean counter hit or normal hit, they just say hit. Now, as much as I want this to be a launcher, I think it's impossible for this to happen. Because in that case, quarter circle ball 3 plus 4 would become basically a homing electric wind god fist. Because uh, electric wind god fist is plus 5 on block, is also a launcher. Lily's quarter circle ball with 3 plus 4 is plus 6 on block and a homing on top of that. So this would be pretty much broken and would basically make the Mishimas useless because quarter circle full of 3 plus 4 has a much easier input. It would be fun seeing the main man uh, spam Lily electrics. Lily would become a new pseudo Mishima. A homing electric and a do glide in and a pseudo wave dash with her do glad. Now that could be funny. But let's come back to reality. This is Lily and Namco obviously doesn't like even Lily too strong moves. 
So I think that what this change means is that it's going to have that twirl animation. It's going to spin around the opponent. Um, it's going to have that animation where uh, you know, you know the animation on Kazumi's back two, where uh, the opponents spin around, and she gets a huge load of plus frames and basically a free mix-up. If this is the case, I I see this as a nerf because. That would mean that this move would no longer wall spot from, from, from really far. It would have to be really close to the wall for, for Lily to wall spot with this move. And, um, and what can she really do when she has boss rings? She doesn't have a safe launcher. She doesn't have, she doesn't have good mix-ups. What can she do for a mix-up? A down 3 and a down 4 3? Down 3 being a low poke that doesn't even knock down on counter hit? Or what? Root of Evil that doesn't knock down either? Or down back 3 plus 4, which yes, is a knockdown low. So in theory it could classify for a knockdown low for a true 50-50 with a mid, except that it's only an online low. It's 24 frames fast, meaning it's seeable offline. It's basically like Noctis's down back to great online, useless in tournaments. This is Lily in a nutshell. The opponents will just block mids because they know they, there's nothing to be scared of. I'm sorry if it seems like I complain too much about Lily. I'm just trying to explain to people how she works as a character and why she really could use bigger, more significant buffs. Because I know she's not a trash tier character, but she's weak enough where big significant buffs uh, wouldn't make her broken, that's all. Uh, and there's that. Um, that's it for this video. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!